Watford 3, Liverpool 0. Welcome back to Kangaroos TV. Liverpool got tucked. Tucked. Comfortably tucked. I did not see... Well, actually, I was to say I didn't see that coming. I didn't see a 3-0. I didn't see a 3 0 defeat coming. You've been saying for a hot minute about how Liverpool performances have the last, what, three, four games? They've been off it. I didn't see a 3 0 coming. Watford were on job. There's no doubt Watford on job and they fully, fully, fully deserve that victory. But before we get into the game, one thing I want to start off with, right? Now, I get Arsenal fans coming at me with a bit of banter, like sending send me a picture of, of Wenger with the little gold trophy and that. I get it. I get Arsenal because that's your thing. You know what I mean? You can't, Liverpool fans can't expect to go the whole season getting any bad. That's what football is about. When your teams get beat and you want to you want to beat the other team or whoever your friends and stuff is, I get that. But United fans, what? This ain't got nothing to do with you. I don't get Gary Devil open up champers for a Liverpool Liverpool losing after two years, bro. If I was to flip the script and Man United were to lose for the first time, I ain't buying no Ciroc for nothing, bro. I don't get that. Unless you do, you tell me. I get the Arsenal banner. It's all good. I take it. Arsenal, that's your thing. You've done it. Invincible's mad. But other fans, come on now. What is this? What's all this hate, bro? I don't get it. For me, and listen, even Arsenal fans, listen, you need to worry about getting 40 points first to make sure you're not staying in the Premier League. Yeah? So, <laughs> banner's banner's all good. But make sure you get your 40 points first before you worry about anything else. <clears throat> the performance on the weekend was a shambles. Nothing short of a shambles. It was... Again, nothing, take, taking nothing away from what for they are fighting for their lives, they are scrapping, and they look like a team scrapping for their lives. But if you can, if you can honestly sit there and say, "Oh yeah, like Liverpool, I just didn't see it coming. I did not see it coming." I think you'd be, I think you'd be fooling yourself because I think the performances have been showing that there are cracks. But just one game, like, do you know what I mean? We're still on on course for the objective, which is to win the Premier League. Fans, yeah. there's some Liverpool fans losing their shit. There's, like, there, I swear, I swear down. Some fans are saying, "You know what?" This is now going to spiral into three, four defeats. I was like, what? <laughs> well, we've, had, we've, we've had a couple. Do you know what I mean? We've had one against Atletico. Yeah. We've pl- we scraped past West Ham and we've just got beat by, by Watford. So, listen, it's been two years or something like that. I don't know how long it's been since Liverpool have lost a game. Since Man City last time. And even and even that was, was by one goal or whatever. Listen, I can, li- I can live with that. I can live with one defeat in two years. I really can. I don't know about you, look, but I really can. It's like... Listen, yeah, it would have been great if they did that. But this is also goes back to a point that I made videos ago, talking about comparing this Liverpool team to the Invincible. To this, I actually said, I don't want to hear that nonsense until, like, enough, until it's all been done. You can't really talk about those names. You can't talk about the greatest team. You can't. Yeah, they've achieved something unbelievable. But then at the end of the day, the target is to win the Premier League. That is the target. That is the goal. So as long as we can still win the Premier League, which is what we're on, we're on course to do. Yeah, it's all right. Do you know what I mean? It's not great losing games. No one likes to lose games, and you shouldn't be really getting beat by Watford. But you've also got to give them pre- they got to give them praise. They're professional footballers too, you know. Do you know what I mean? They have, they they are on job. They've been they deserve to win that game. You know, you said that, uh, about the defeat and that. I will see what other Liverpool fans think. This is the first time that I didn't clock match today for the first time. I don't for the hell of long. I don't know how long it's been because obviously, but the, the the feeling of defeat is still the same. Yeah. Uh, it still felt bad. You didn't want to lose, even though, like we said, that like, you Liverpool going to go on and, and do what they're going to do. But the defeat still felt bad, and it's how we how that defeat happened. It could um, have been more. It could have been like what, like Watford, like the second balls. They were running faster. The, the discipline, everything was way better than Liverpool. They were fighting for their lives. They were scrapping for their lives. Mm. Think, think about it. Liverpool beat beat West. Uh, uh, they beat Norwich one nil. Yeah, uh, quite a while ago now, but that's one nil. That again, you scrape by, you scrape through there, you scrape through against West Ham. But the thing is, you know, you say about they're fighting for their lives. West Ham, I'm mean, sorry, uh, Watford actually did it to us last time we played. Do you remember that game at Anfield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had chance upon chance. So I'm not really having a whole Watford are fighting for life, even though yes, I get what you're saying. That's the reason why they were so good. But it's twice now we played against Watford. They actually battered us up twice. To be honest with you, and and, and that's what that, I would say that. But the, the the thing is, what I saw a lot right is people. Took a look at excuses. First of all, Henderson's missing for what two, 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 three games. Do you think that was one of the reasons why Liverpool are performing the way they are, or do you think not so? No, I, I just think there is a level of ex. You know, sometimes, and this is what separates the teams. Those those amazing teams, they know that they got to go out and get a result. I just felt that at the moment, <clears throat> there is an air of we'll we'll, we've, we'll get one, we'll, we'll score. Do you know what I mean? There is that sort of like that thing that they're used to it, and and rightfully so because they haven't lost a game for so long. But it also. 
that that humility piece comes into it. You know that that sort of realization of listen, nothing, no one's owed nothing. No one's nothing's promised, nothing's given. You've got to scrap and work for every single game. They've got beat by Watford. Maybe that's the, a monkey off your back or whatever. I don't know. But all I'm saying is they didn't deserve to win that game. So you're, I'm not going to sit here and say it was unlucky or whatever. Performances have been a bit a bit off, but we've been managed to, to scrape through. It's it's caught up with us. It shows that nothing's for granted. Nothing's pr- guaranteed. Nothing's promised. You've got to fight for every game. Fair play to Watford. On to the next one. That's just the way I see it. Now, are we talking about the... Um, the like, I mentioned Henderson there. Like For me personally, I don't think Henderson... Uh, is is the reason why these performances are happening that way. Uh, what I have noticed is that everyone is digging at Lovren. Now, Lovren had a shambles of a game. Granted, like, he, Dini did it to his life. Took the piss out of him. Took the piss out of him yeah. and he knew what he, what he was going to do. You want to fight him, that's the last thing you want to do against Dini. Right? Unless you're v- Virgil van Dijk and that's why Virg- he, Dini left Virgil alone. He goes, okay, is Lovren playing today? Okay, that's the guy I'm going to target and he did it to his life. But, even though Lovren was to blame for basically the majority of the goals, there were some serious dud performances across the whole board. Don't just don't just pull out and hang Lovren out there. All these people that you protect, yeah, like you're granted, these people are human and they allowed bad performances, but let's let's dig them out on it as well. Do you know what I mean? Just because you praise them all the time doesn't mean that you can't dig them out for a bad performance. There were some terrible performances. Like even the goal, I think it was the first one, where Lovren was getting held up by Dini. What was Verge doing? Verge could have stopped that ball coming in. I don't care. Like he was, he was laboured. So even even the ball, even the, the third one was it the third goal? Uh, oh, Trent no, passed it back. Uh, no, no, that's the sorry, the second goal when mate, he's whipped it down the line. Like it, again, I'm looking at Verge. I think to myself, you're too busy putting worrying about the ball going off, and then and you 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 badly caught out of position. Trent passing passing that that pass back from Trent. You can't listen. I know those two are exceptions because it's very rare that they do think bad things. But equally, you've still got to make it be known. You can't. I, I agree with you. Listen, Lovren was was poor. But they also look at it and think, right, you know what Dini wants to do. So surely you look at one of the second midfielders and say, right, come and set on his toes. Don't let, don't let him. Make sure everything that any second ball, you win the second ball. Even if he does win the first ball, sit on his toes. So I think that fundamentally there was a lot of things that could have that could have been done better. Allison, yeah, he made some good saves. But again, I'm looking at him thinking to myself like, you know, yeah, it's not all the time, but it has happened. I think he could have been better. I can't really think of us troubling them by on the line of shot. I can't think of any other thing. We had one think- shot on goal, bro. So, like I said, you can leave, you can hang mate yet to dry it. That's on. Uh, you can say what you want, but end of the day, to, to win games of football, you got you got to have opportunities. We didn't have any opportunities. And the thing is, we asked all the viewers. We said Nabi or Ox. I see people writing Ox with flames, flames, Ox, 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 because the West Ham performance, because he came on as a sub. He started this game. What did Ox do? He was a shambles. For one of the goals, he's the one who actually kicked the ball out for a throw in. The goal came from a throw in. Do you know what I mean? And it was Ox who kicked it out. Ox was terrible. He was terrible. Trent, he was shocking. Do you know the amount of times Trent lost the possession in that game? It was, that's what I'm saying. Like, people were like, like hanging Lovren out. I could not believe it. There were people targeting Fabino. Like, for me, Fabino was the only player in that game that I could kind of say, you know what, he was okay. Apart from that, the whole rest of them, Bobby, nowhere to be seen. Salah, nowhere to be seen. Mane, nowhere to be seen. All these players were nowhere to be seen. Genie, missing. So, so like, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and, and start saying, oh my God, they're all rubbish. They're, it's no, not, I'm not saying that. No, I know. What I'm saying, but it, it has to be, it does have to be noted. Mm. When, 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 Gomez weren't, when I realised Gomez weren't playing, I was thinking to myself, Lovren? Really? Because, but, but then I can understand from a, from a manager's perspective, I want someone who's going to be commanding in the air to go up against Dini. But if you remember correctly, when, when Lovren got his pants pulled down before, it was against Harry Kane, when he tried to wrestle him. He got, his, he got he got his ass handed to him. Mm. So I don't know. Like I said, I, I've actually said for a hot what a hot minute now. I think Lovren's time is done at Liverpool anyway. But I just watched that and, I, and that made me realise that listen, I don't think he is. There's, there's there is. I think that is done now. But like like you say, you've got to make it known that, that everyone was off it. The whole team was was poor. Yeah, because the thing is, all I saw on social media was Lovren, 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 Lovren. It's Lovren, easy. Lovren, it's Lovren. easy to, to to prod him in it when they're down because he doesn't play very often. And it's like because the other guys, for example, Trent has. So many good things to go in for him and vice and, and what, yeah. whatever. But like, like even that goal, that third goal, um, with the one that Trent passed it back, people were still digging out Lovren for that goal because that's where it started from because of his jumping up header for Fadini. But Trent's passed it back. Do you know what I mean? So mm. he, there was yeah. a chance to clear it up even if Lovren was messing around. But but yeah, like I said, it, it's it's a it's a tough one to take. Don't get me wrong, because no one it's never nice to lose games of football. But we're open and we'll be here taking our L. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we... we it's football, these things happen. Mm. Liverpool have been on such a good run. And 
like I said, we're still on course to, to hit the target of what we want to do. But yeah, listen, you got you got to accept it. We were we, we were absolutely battered on the week. We were battered. The one the only the one sort of saving grace from this whole thing is that this whole conversation about invincibles and going is done. It's just the media constantly asking the same questions to Klopp and everyone about the same shit, invincibles, invincibles. And it was made clear that for even for us, it was just icing on the cake. It wasn't something that you go into, into a season saying, even Arsenal when they've done it, no one goes into a league saying, I didn't think I about it. Invincible. Look, look at the amount of games over the course of two seasons. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Two Champions League finals, one that they've won, one uh, that they, they got beat, but they still got to the Champions League final. They finished second and they're top of the Premier League at the moment. Listen, it could be a, lot, a hell of a lot worse. Just go and ask Man United. So, this is what I wanted to say, is that that's the one saving grace from it, is that that's, that is done now. Liverpool's carry on. And I, I, don't, I don't really, personally, I'm not too worried. I think Liverpool will come back on it. I mean, we've got Chelsea next, which is a nice little challenge in itself. My biggest thing is, I want to see a reaction. Yeah, I do want to yeah, see a exactly, reaction, though. Exactly. Putting all that to one side, Athletic, Atletico Madrid, we got beat. Uh, Watford, we got beat. West Ham, we scraped through. Norwich, we scraped through. I need, we, there, there needs to be a reaction because, yeah, although I don't agree with it, but there could be something that festers in. You know, one goes through a spell where they drop points and so on and so forth. I don't want it to, I don't think and I don't want it to go down that route, but equally, there needs to be a reaction. There needs to be a tucking in somewhere to show that, listen, we are on job. So to finish off, I mean, we'll finish off a man of the match. I mean... I don't have one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sar. Yeah, Sar was nuts. Yeah, this is the first time I think for a long time, normally we always give it to a Liverpool player, even if they play bad, is that we'll pick up a Liverpool player, but... I don't have one, I'm we sorry. We don't, we don't. We really don't. It was that bad, it was performance. And I think everyone should look at themselves in that performance. Because, like we said, yes, you can you can lose a game, but it's how they, yeah. they lost the game. Um, and I think uh, I liked what Arsenal, the, the actual club, actually put out on Twitter. They had a bit of jokes joke saying, few. And actually, congratulate Liverpool for what they achieved um, for so long. So I actually like that touch from Arsenal. Like I said, it's a bit of nice banter. And what Liverpool have achieved is nuts. I always tell kids and stuff, you know what? Football is, is not like FIFA. But what Liverpool were doing for so long, just getting W's, 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 wins and wins, and wins, it actually made it like it was a game. Like, it's not normal what Liverpool achieved. Mm. Arsenal, you know, they did their thing for so long, but there was a lot of draws in there. I'm not taking that away from them, but to go out and win every single game is unrealistic. So it was never been seen before. So well done to Liverpool to achieving what they did. Now let's just get back on it and just wrap this season up with what we wanted initially and hopefully we can get some extras into it uh, as well. So until the next game, which is against Chelsea, don't forget to share, like, subscribe and definitely comment.